Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Aluka. In today's video I'm going to show you how I did this look right here, which is a little bit different than what I did recently. Before we get started, I want to kindly ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you're into makeup content. I do a lot of that. And yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. I primed my eyelids off camera this time. I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion as usual. I'm thinking of doing kind of a weird color combination but you've seen the look by now, so why do I bother explaining? <laughs> so first I'm going to use the Sweet Pinks palette by Juvia's Place. I think I'm going to use a bunch of palettes in this video, uh, just because I kind of want different colors that I cannot, I just cannot find in one palette. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to pick up this bright pink here. So with Juvia's Place 007 Pro Blending Brush, I'm going to pick up this shade. Why do I feel like <clears throat> like a Juvia's Place promoter or something? But I do have a lot of products from them. <laughs> I also really love their palette so, so much. So uh, This shade is going to go uh, in my crease, I guess. I'm still not sure what I want to do. So let's hope for the best. Oh, a full cut crease. I haven't done a full cut crease in such a long time. I think that's what I'm going to do. For a full cut crease, I'm going to need to extend the eyeshadow a little bit in my other corner. I'm packing the shade, building up the intensity. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to blend towards my crease. In order to do my cut crease, I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use my Too Faced uh, Peach Concealer in the shade Buttercream. I'm going to pick it up on a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to stamp this to get that sharp cut crease. I'm uh, Cutting the crease a little bit above my natural crease. If you don't know where to place the concealer, just keep your eyes open and relaxed and apply it a little bit above your natural crease so uh, it will make your eyes look a little bit bigger. And here in my other corner, I bring it a little bit, a little bit too high. And then I'm just perfecting it by smoothing the line. Over the concealer I'm going to apply a yellow shade that's going to be from my Zulu palette again by Juvia's Place. Picking it up on a Juvia's Place 005 small buffer brush. Literally like the brushes from Juvia's Place. I didn't expect them to be this good. I was really impressed and I use them on a daily basis. Wash them several times and they hold up really, really well. As you can see with that fluffy brush, I wasn't able to reach this area here. So I'm going to switch to a flat brush. This is a Morphe M124. And I'm going to pick up the yellow again and just get in that area. With a flat brush you can be really precise so you don't go over the pink. I'm just stamping the shade. For my lower lash line I want another shade and I'm going to pick up the violets again from Juvia's Place and I'm going to pick up this shade here. This is one of my favorite shades I own for some reason. I really love this pastel lavender shade and this is a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just going to apply this along my lower lash line. Now I want to do a wing liner to kind of contour my eye because with these light colors, yeah, it's not really, doesn't really stand out that much. So I'm going to use my Sephora Collection Color Block Liner. I think I'm going to use others as well because this is almost finished. So with the line, straight line, I'm going to connect the corner of my eye with the end of the cut crease. like that, so it's going to be a very bold line. 
and connecting that to my lid fill in I'm going to use my essence liner as well because the Sephora one is almost dried out and uh, you can't really do detail work with it and this is the hardest part of this look the liner because it's so huge I'm going to go along my lash line with a very thin line and starting from the center of my eye I'm going to thicken the, the line and see how I'm doing this with my eyes open especially with a big line like this you really want to see how the end result is going to look like I guess that is the liner, but I think I want to turn it into a graphic liner, kind of continuing towards the center of my eye, but let's see. I hope I don't ruin the look. The secret is to hold your breath. <laughs> And now, after all this struggle, I need to recreate that on my other eye. Whew, I'm done. On my waterline, I'm going to apply the NYX for White's Pencil in the shade Lavender Blush. On my lower lashes, I'm going to apply Purple Mascara from NYX. I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow palette to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. I'm going to pick up this shade. And just stamp the highlighter. I also want to do an inner corner wing, so I'm going to use my KVD tattoo liner. This is the third liner I'm using today, but I trust this will last well in my inner corner. I can't guarantee because I haven't tried it like that yet, but I don't know why. I have faith in it. Like people say that it's so long lasting. Just a little bit of it an extension of my eye I'm going to apply some mascara and false lashes off camera and then I'll be right back let's see I hope I won't regret my lip choice I'm first going to line my lips using the boysenberries pencil in the shade dusty brown overlining in the center As lipstick, I'm going to apply the Huda Beauty, this is the Demi Matte one, it's in the shade Catwalk Killer, it's purple. Mm. Should I? I feel like I, re I regret everything that I apply on my lips that is not nude. <sighs> I think I will lighten at least the center of my lips a little bit. <sighs> I'm going to try to apply the Shiro shade right in the center. I think I'll stay out of my comfort zone and just leave the lips like this. So I guess this is the end result. I really hope you like how it came out. And if you do like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Yeah, that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. It really means a lot to me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!